In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve n quadratic equation using the Casio FX82MS calculator. This method is very helpful because you can use it to verify your answers in an exam. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit the like button, comment and share for more maths content. Alright, so for us to solve any quadratic equation using the Casio calculator like this one, first of all you need to clear everything that is in the memory of this calculator. So we'll do that step by step. So first of all, press shift, then mod, then click three. After pressing three, then click equal sign twice. One, two. Okay, so again, press shift, mod. So in the first place, we pressed three. So let's also clear the mod here. So we press two so you also press an equal sign twice one two again let's press shift mod then one and equal sign twice all right so everything that was in the memory of this calculator has been cleared all right so now we'll go on mod so press mod then click three, rig, rig, regression, click three, okay, three. So after cl clicking three, you come to this right key here. Press the, li the right key uh, like this. Now you see that after pressing the right key, you have these options. So you have one, two, three. On number three, you have quad, okay, quad means quadratic, okay. So you press 3 because quadratic is only number 3. So you press 3. So meaning you have now changed the mode of this calculator. This calculator is in, in quadratic. Okay. So now this is what you are going to do. You are going to feed this calculator this information that is in this quadratic equation. Alright. So before we do that, you need to... We need to redefine what x is on the calculator okay so we are going to redefine x as c so you can see that here you have a c okay so for you to do that to press a c you are going to press alphabet first then press here hype where there's c on top so you press a c so meaning x in this case is a c x in this case is a c then you press comma. In other words, you are telling this calculator to say x is the, the variable x is now or has been substituted by the letter C. Then let's just write this quadratic equation on the calculator. So you are going to press alpha, then C. Now we are writing this quadratic equation. So c squared, so press here where there is squared, then plus, you write a plus as it is, plus uh, 4, so the 4 also is just as it is, then uh, x, you are going to press alpha, c again, then plus 3, as it is like this, okay? So now after you've done this, this is now your equation, your, qu your quadratic equation. After you've done this, you press this memory plus of the calculator, this memory plus, M plus, four times. So you press it, one, two, three, four. After that, you press shift, then press 2. So, after pressing 2, you can see that you have these options, but you don't want the mean, you don't want the, the standard deviation, you don't want this. So, what you are going to do is, you are going to press the right key here three times until you find the x1 value and the x2 values. Okay? So, let's just do that. 1, 2, 3. 
So we see that after pressing three times, we have x1, x2, and this is like the value of the y-intercept, the c. So first of all, let's find the x1 value of this equation. Okay? So we're going to press 1. So we'll come here and press 1. After pressing 1, press the left key twice. 1, 2. After that, press 0. Then an equal sign. Okay? What are we getting? We're getting x1 to be negative 1. We're getting x1 to be negative 1. And let's see what we found here. Here we found that the x, one of the x values is negative 1. Okay? So which is this one that we have found here? All right. Now, for us to find the x2 value, we are going to press shift again. Then a 2. After pressing a 2, press the right shift until you find x1, x2, and the value of c. So 1, 2, 3. So you can see that we have x1, x2, and the value of c, the y-intercept. So we are going, in the first place, we picked this one. But in the second place now, we are picking the x2. So click on 2. So click on 2 here. And then also 2 times the left key. And then press the 0. And then press the equal sign. And then this is the value of x2 that we are finding. Now, let's see. How, what did we find that as, as the x2 value? This is negative 3. Okay, so this and this are matching. So, you can use this uh, method to verify your answers in the exam to see if what you found or what you've calculated is correct. Thank you very much. If you want to learn how to solve quadratic equations using the completing square method, just click on the video that is showing on the screen right now. Goodbye.